Hey everyone, this is Elizabeth from ERW Plans um, on Instagram, ERW underscore plans, and on Etsy, ERW Plans. Today we're going to plan our March spread for the week of St. Patrick's Day. We've got a few tools laid out here. As always, we have our spatula tool. We also have a variety of green washi tapes. We have the Happy Planner stickers for the seasonals. Uh, there, seasonals. We have the Erin Condren seasonal sticker book. We have a bunch of Chelsea Brown Design stickers. We have the Days of the Week weekly multicolor kit in Angelia. We have the Timeline Sunday Start stickers in rose gold foil. We have the top three to-do list lists in ocean blue. We have the timeline covers in forest green. The space of infinite possibility covers, also in Angelia. Space of infinite possibility dot grid covers in green. The weekly affirmations in green. And we have the date of the week covers in rose gold foil. We also are gonna use some ERW plans swag that you can get in the store. We have the to-do list for our Dutch door that we're going to install today. And we have the social media kit that just went live in the shop this morning. As always, we have our cocoa paper planner cover with a four centimeter spine. You do have to ask for the four centimeter spine um, in order to get one that's this chunky. The color is pale jade. And we have our passion planner in ocean blue. So, March 17th. Since we're not using a kit, we're gonna have to do some of the kit work ourselves. I'm going to start with we have this um, green, shades of green tape um, from MT. It's part of their rainbow pack. So we're gonna be starting with this one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it off here. Line it up. You can line it up to start with Sunday or start with the very edge, whichever is your preference. Just gonna keep it lined up with the edge. And I'm using specifically this, this one, not because I necessarily think the color is the best fit for this one, but because it, the size of this particular washi perfectly fits the top here. And I just don't feel like trimming my washi at the top. So, got our washi there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my slice tool to cut off the edges of the tape. We're also going to use a straight edge, but you can use a smaller ruler. I like the straight edge to make a nice clean cut. And this is a T-square that I got for like maybe $10. I don't know, they're not that expensive. My washi is nicely lined up. If your washi curls at the end a bit, like mine does, you have a couple options. You can use your spatula tool to straighten it out, or you can cut the um, tiny little bit at the end there, but we're not gonna worry about that because I have stickers to go on. Next, we have the days of the week. I'm gonna flip it upside down for easier access for me. We're gonna use our green stickers from Chelsea Brown Design's Angelia palette for days of the week to do our dates at the top. As always, since mine's a Sunday start, we'll start with Sunday. Put it on your spatula tool. Line it up to the edge here.
and then make sure it fits. The nice thing about the spatula tool, as you can see there, is that if it doesn't lay down correctly the first time, you can keep an edge lifted so that you can kind of wiggle it a bit before you push it down and make sure it sticks because the stickers are not removable. All right, let's do the rest. For the today's focus section, I will usually put in the daily challenge from Chelsea Brown Designs. This is, if you subscribe to her newsletter, this is the sticker sheet that you get. Um, it's a print your own sticker sheet. This is not something that you're going to get a physical product. You're going to get a PDF to download and print yourself. Um, I have printed it on sticker paper from Avery. And what I'm going to do in order to take these from a good things cover to a today's focus cover is I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. I've already cut them out the rectangles to show you what I mean. Cut the rectangle already. So what we're going to do is get out our T-square again so we have nice clean lines. And we're going to go ahead and cut them horizontally. up before we cut. Measure tw twice, cut once as they say. With these, because they're sticker paper, you're going to have to give a little bit more pressure on your slice tool than you would if you were using a, um, if you're cutting washi tape, or you can use an X-Acto knife. What you're going to find if you were to take them off the paper at this point is that they're too long because the, the good thing that happened box is wider than the today's focus box by just a little bit. But if you cut your stickers right along where the um, ribbon looking edge is here, where this divot is, if you cut it right there, they're going to fit almost perfectly. So once again, I'm going to line everything up. If you're using a T-square appropriately, you've got to make sure everything's lined up. And then we're going to just cut it. I'm going to add these stickers as well as the um, days of the week, the 17th through the 23rd to my planner.
I have the sticker book from um, Aaron Condren. These stickers here actually fit across the rows here really well. So if you wanted to decorate with those on the top here instead, that's fine. Um, I'm really just gonna use the Happy St. Patrick's Day to pop it onto St. Patrick's Day here. Not that I could ever forget having an Irish family and all, but still, let's go put that on there. The other stickers are a little wide, so if you're going to use these stickers here, then you're gonna to need to trim these. But once again, these are perfect for your Space of Infinite Possibility covers if you wanna use those. I do find that these stickers aren't as sticky as Chelsea's or even mine that I make myself. So I would definitely recommend having a glue stick or something to double stick those. We also have our Happy Planner stickers. I used one of these books fairly heavily last year, so I ended up buying a duplicate just to have it. As you can see here. So I'll just put a couple little shamrocks on to make it feel a little festive. I don't want to go too crazy with the deco. I am not a crazy deco person when it comes to these sorts of things. But I do like to be a little bit festive. So you can pop a couple of shamrocks on for the week. Here. Happy Planner stickers are luckily much stickier than the uh, Aaron Condren stickers. So, there we are. Our passion planner is set for the week of St. Patrick's Day. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. You can click the button in the upper left hand corner of your screen in order to subscribe today to see new videos when they're released. A new video is released every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. You can also like us, leave a comment to let us know what you'd like to see next time. Oh, and of course, go subscribe to the newsletter at erwplans.com. When you subscribe, you will get three free downloads, a free full page to add like we did today, a free template for a flippy page like we added today, and a free template for a Dutch door that you can add today. Once again, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next Wednesday.